Hi, I'm Anthony from Morgan Strain Academy. Today we're going to talk a little bit about canes. Now, I usually don't spend a lot of time in my college class talking about cane. Uh, it's one of those things that a lot of guys feel embarrassed to walk around with a cane and they think that it's something that they're, it ages them. But when you start really thinking about a cane, you can take it on, you can take it on an airplane, you can take it anywhere, any building, uh, and, and it's safe. Now, I'm gonna basically go through and, and just kind of show you a few canes and explain a little bit uh, of their capabilities. This was just probably what most everybody thinks when they think they see a cane. This is a rattan, and uh, it's a good, good strong cane. It's uh, it has a lot of practical uses. It uh, you can hit, you can support yourself, and it looks pretty cool. Now the next one is a uh, this is a cold steel, and uh, the they say that you can break windows with them. That they're very very durable it looks kind of cool it's a little bit on the, the heavy side for for me uh, depending on how you're you know carrying your cane if you're depending on uh, for support or if you're just carrying it under under your arm as a, a gentleman would carry it now this next cane this one here uh, it's got the small tip, uh, tip on it so if you're doing any inserting or if you're walking on a wet slate or logs or anything, this will actually dig in and help you to prevent. It's got a big, it's got a big loop, so you can actually hook around the neck. You can hook the arms, you can hook the legs, and uh, so that's probably one of my favorites. This one's got a smaller hook, but as you notice, it's got a cut here. So this cut, this angle cut here, is so when I grab here, that it will actually cut into the, into the. The person's body, whatever, if it's in, into here, into the shoulder, it's gonna hook. If it cuts into the neck, it's gonna cut in. Uh, pretty decent little cane also. This one is a very, very gentleman's cane. It's got a heavy bronze end, very good support, and it's got a good uh, weight just for, if you're hitting somebody in the wrist or the head, uh, it's going to do a lot of damage. I would hate to have to break it if I actually hit somebody really, really hard with it, but it's a beautiful little cane. Um, Shillelagh, I believe is what these are called. Don't quote me on that. But uh, this is a de decent little one. It's, it's got a nice grip on top. And there again, for hitting, you know, It'll work well, it'll last really well. Now, this one here is kind of basic, but it's got a very nice German-made sword, okay? And it's really balanced, I mean, so that if you start defending with it, and it looks pretty, pretty common. It looks just like a regular little cane until you, you know, pull that out and go to work. This next one is one that I, I hand carved. It's got a little heart and it's got to, the fingers overlap. These fingers, the fingernails are really fairly sharp. So if you were to hit somebody with it, it would definitely leave three cuts or in, in, in dents in their, in their skin. This is a uh, another fancy. This is Coco Bolo, and uh, it's got a brass uh, dolphin on it. And it's pretty decent support. A dolphin nose is going to make make some serious damage to someone. Uh, I don't know about the the tail. I would probably use the tail more for hooking than I would anything else, and keep the keep the nose for striking. This one does come apart uh, you can add a blade to it if you're if you have some technical knowledge and you have a shop that you could actually do that just drill this out and put a small put a small uh, shaft in there a small dagger this one here is kind of a 
a very serious little cane with all these little knobs on it, raking this across somebody's face, raking across somebody's arm, slamming it into their shin or whatever it may be you choose to, um, on a pulling motion on the arm. This is gonna do a lot of, a lot of damage. And uh, then having a head, um, for hitting, pulling, you know, it's, one of, my, one of my favorites. It's not something I would carry all the time. So when you start looking at a cane, I'm going to put this one back. When you start looking at a cane to, uh, to use for self-defense, Kali gives you, gives you a very good background on, on cane work. Now, whether a Kali, a Screma, or a niece, whatever you want to call it, but it's essentially the same as um, all your all your basic strikes. It gives you a little bit more range. Um, so if you're thinking like a 30 inch stick, all your thrust, all your slashes, it works really well. Now, one thing that I usually tell somebody when they're when they they have a cane and anything happens that they need to uh, how would I say it? Prepare the cane for battle. This is not a good position. So what I have everybody do is if you can see this, I have them spin this cane towards in this position. Now, the reason I do this is so that I can slide the cane up. Okay? If it's in this position and I try to slide this slide this up, now I'm going to have to make some modern, make some minor changes here. So I just turn this, I can turn it either way here. But now see where my hand is, now I can slide this up. If I want to go for hooks, um, pulling the legs out. But that's one of the things that I, main things that I teach, is just to casually turn this to this position. Now, most everybody doesn't realize that I'm making that change. So from here, it's just a slight turn. Now, my cane is ready to go. One of the other things that I usually, that I teach with cane work and I teach with staff work also, is the first hit is gonna be inserted here, which is to get the body going back. So if I insert here, and this is on your opponent, so if I insert this here, the head goes forward. As I insert this, okay, his head, his head comes forward, I usually click the head here. Okay, I click underneath the chin, click, and then I insert this into the throat. Couple just little minor things. But like I said, just getting used to spinning this is a big start. Because that way when I I slide it up that I don't have to kind of go fool with it. I mean sure you can change hands, but are you comfortable enough in your weak hand to deal something like this? I mean when you start thinking a cane, I mean you're moving you're moving hundreds of miles an hour. And especially, I can't, from, from this position, once I spin this to here, when this comes through, okay, it's just like a, a PR24 or a uh, um, side panel baton, whatever you want to call it, um, a tonfa. But this comes through really, really quick. So that's why I like this position. Here, I mean, not sure, I can, I can spin this the same way, but I can't access this for pulls. So that's kind of the number one thing with this, is just get used to spinning this to this position. Okay, thank you. Please subscribe to our channel.